Welcome back to the List Building Lifestyle. I'm your host, Igor Kafetz. One of the challenges that you face as an email marketer um, who constantly communicates with their list is you, you always need to come up with new things to say. And the, the challenge is that you're mostly really emailing about the same things, right? Like if, if you've got a, a keto list, for example, or some kind of like weight loss list, for the very, like for the most part, you're mailing them about things you've said before. You, you're mailing them about a product they've seen before or a technique they've seen before, a supplement they might have seen before, a herb, a, a, a food uh, item that is burning fat. So it, it's not like you're mailing them about something new every day. Um, a lot of times you're mailing about the same thing, especially if you're running a promotion. So you're basically hammering the same offer every single day. Um, so, so it can be really, really hard to come up with "Quote unquote angles or approaches or um, or um, you know um, um, if you will ways to see things or, or ways to present things to your list that don't seem like the same old same old they've seen before, and that's really the challenge because the moment the reader thinks to to themselves, oh I've seen this before, oh I I know what this is, uh, yeah I heard about this before. The moment that happens, the reader doesn't really want to listen anymore." because uh, the shiny object syndrome is real it exists and our attention span um is is really really short really short uh, i don't know if it's the size of a of a goldfish or whatever but it's it's pretty damn short i'll you know i can testify to that so the moment they the the, the reader thinks that they figured you out the moment the reader thinks so oh, i've seen this before that's the moment when they're really not paying attention. So even if you're mailing about the exact same thing you've mailed about yesterday or last month, um, it is your job as an email marketer um, to present it in in new light, to cover it in a new light in order to generate attention. And so this episode is all about that. Again, I'm being interviewed by my star student, David Deacon. Uh, so it's, it's still a part of the same uh, really, really long interview he'd done with me. Um, where in, and in this part, um, I'm, I'm breaking down how do I come up with angles? How I come up with new ways to say things about the products and services I promote? How do I come up with new ways to describe the same thing? And I think if, if you're an aggressive email marketer or if, you're, if you've been struggling to mail your list often because of this issue, because you don't know how to say something in a way that doesn't appear to be what you already said to them, uh, then this episode, you will find it very valuable. And um, the techniques I'm sharing inside are responsible for making me millions upon millions of dollars with my own products and affiliate products. Mm -hmm. So these are proven to work. So if you're still, if you're not using the, uh, the angles technique in your list building, your email marketing, you're, you're seriously missing out on a lot of money right now. And um, I hope this episode opens your eyes to just how easy it is to engage your list often, every day, mul even multiple times per day, as long as you understand this concept of angles. So enjoy. I'm Igor Kafetz, and this is The List Building Lifestyle, the podcast for anyone who wants to build a wildly profitable email list working from home. If you'd like to make six figures, travel the world, and help people improve their lives in the process, this podcast is for you. I also invite you to claim a free copy of my best-selling book, The List Building Lifestyle, Confessions of an Email Millionaire, at igorsbook.com. Get the free book plus $3,000 bonus package that includes my best capture page templates, email swipe files, and traffic blueprints. Visit www.igorsbook.com for details. And now... It's time to claim your list building lifestyle. So what are some of your favorite frames that, you know, you find, you find work like pretty, pretty consistently? Yeah, well, my list is pretty simple and my relationship with my list is also pretty simple. We get each other. I know that my people want to know of um, easy and fast ways to earn an income. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they're being realistic. So for example, when I promoted things related to crypto, um, crypto uh, opportunities, remember there was a time when I was even trying to recruit you into one. <laughs> um, and you and you wisely, wisely stood your ground and said, yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait and see what happens to that Bitcoin. So, you know, I didn't get as much of a response as I, for example, got about uh, for a business opportunity about Google AdSense, where 
you know you can have someone publish your content to build your website and then you make money off of ads um, I also got great response talking about affiliate marketing so it turns out my email list is uh, is really really into promoting other people's products and they're always looking for ways to improve those results for example if I announced to them that there's a new type of affiliate marketing, which is a promo I ran literally a couple of weeks ago, and I nailed it with 67 sales of a $997 product, um, what I said was, here's a new way to do affiliate marketing that's not ClickBank, that's not JVZoo, that's not MLM. And the call, you know, I, I got them on, on a webinar, and the webinar taught them about paper call affiliate marketing. So, um, Again, brand new for them, for most of them. And the paper call has been around maybe for, for what, two years, three years, maybe something like that. So that's okay. And that worked. Um, I had another one where I, yeah, I remember one angle that worked really well was give stuff away for free and still make money, mm. which was um, a program that taught them how to, how to build a list by giving away free stuff and how to monetize the people who opted in to get the free stuff. Right, so you basically kind of uh, bait. I don't want to say bait; this has negative sense to it. But like, you invite people to claim a freebie in exchange for an email. And then on the back end, it taught you, you know, how to monetize them. So basically, as you can see, a lot of my angles revolve around making money from home. And you know, one of the challenging things about being an, a list owner and having to email your list all the time is having to come up with new ways or exciting ways to talk about the same stuff. If you think about it, right? But it's a challenge I'm up for. I mean, I'm always I'm always looking for new ways to position things. And um, you know, every every now and again, I would come across something that would allow me for that. Like again, this example with new type of affiliate marketing, I actually set a record. I was able to uh, bring over over 1,200 registrants to the webinar, which is um, well beyond beyond of what I was able to do before. I think my previous record was 830 or something. So, like, I exceeded that by 30 percent because of this exciting new angle. So now I know, and I will kind of see how I can further develop that. And the best thing you can do, guys, is to quite simply test angles and see what works. And you will quickly, quickly, within just a couple of weeks, you'll find exactly what gets your list going. And once you find those right angles, all you'll need to do every single time is just put a slightly different spin on it, and then it gets exciting for them again, right? Because that's, that's another thing I learned a long, a long time ago. If, if you email them about something they think they already know, that's when, it doesn't, when it's not interesting to them. And, you know, once or twice every now and again, that's all right. But if every single day you email them about things they already know, they kind of leave. Uh, they unsubscribe or they stop buying but the moment you 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 keep like the moment you produce a new spin even if, if it's an old thing but still you come up with a new spin for it you get engagement again hmm. right any any specific resources you recommend for getting those angles and kind of becoming more creative yep absolutely so uh first off you need to find other marketers that you admire and uh, bought stuff from and subscribe to their email list. Mm -hmm. And very quickly, you will have a whole bunch of swipes, you know, a whole bunch of examples of their emails and their promotions and how to position things. The other thing you want to do is you want to get really intimate uh, with your target market, meaning that if possible, get on the phone with them, like interview them, you know, see if you can chat with them on Facebook, see if you can have an actual conversation with them and find out what what makes them tick. Ask them about their dreams, about their goals, about their biggest challenges, about their, you know, their frustrations, about what overwhelms them, about what frustrates them. Ask them all these questions and build like a psychological avatar of your ideal prospect because it is only... Again, in my opinion, it is only by knowing exactly who I work with, by knowing exactly who my target market is, it's only because of that I'm able to come up with really exciting angles for them. For example, uh, think about it this way. Um, your spouse, it's a person you probably know better than they know themselves. So how hard would it be for you to say something that would be of interest to them? Like my wife knows, if she wants to get my attention, She'll say something like, oh, did you hear the new iPhone is out? 
I'm dropping everything and I'm like, really? you know, I'm like, I'm paying attention. Like, yeah. Or uh, just recently we went to this, um, to a shopping mall and I've seen the new VR PlayStation set. And like, you want to get my attention? Talk to me about that. I'll talk to you. Want to get my attention? Let's talk about FIFA and PlayStation. Like, so everybody has a button. Everybody has a thing that interests them. Um, in this, so as long as you know what the buttons are, as long as you can, you know, get that intel, you will never, ever, ever struggle to come up with new angles and with things to say to your target market that are inherently just come with built-in interest. So if you are a person that's inside your own niche, think about your frustrations. Think about what are you struggling with. Maybe that's a good place to start because for me, every time I think about, okay, my target market, as I think about myself back a few years when I was a nobody in the industry, you know, can't, couldn't even uh, rub two pennies together kind of thing. It's like, what was frustrating me, for me back then? And what was uh, kind of, what were some of the things that were on my mind? I mean, it's it's still fresh because it wasn't that long ago. So that's a good place to start. Like, what, what are some of the problems you would want solved for yourself? And those are the kinds of frames and those are kind of positions that you want to basically talk about. And those are the problems you want to solve for the people because a lot of them, even though you think that you're 100% unique and stuff, but we all kind of have same problems. We all need, you know, we all want to elevate our lifestyle and we all want to support our kids and have the best for the kids and that kind of thing and maybe take an extra vacation a year and those kinds of things. So as long as you keep it, you know, start with that, I guess, start with those frustrations and stuff and start with those angles. And then if you want to go deeper, then start interviewing and going into everything that Igor said about knowing your market more intimately. Thank you for listening to The List Building Lifestyle. Get access to the previous episodes, transcript of today's show, as well as other exclusive content at listbuildinglifestyleshow.com. Also remember to claim your free copy of my best-selling book at www.igorsbook.com. It explains how I made millions with list building starting from scratch. Plus, I'll give you $3,000 worth of free bonuses, including my best landing page templates, email swipe files, and traffic blueprints. Go to www.igorsbook.com now to claim your free package.